Hello everyone, how to solve this problem for the values of m if we have m divided by square root of m is equals to 5 and we solve this problem for the values of m. So here we find all the roots of this equation and at the last we will check that which of the roots are solution and which of the roots are extraneous root of this equation. So I hope so you like this method uh, and now we solve this problem for two methods. Uh, so uh, here uh, we start our first method. So now here in the first method uh, here uh, we need uh, to focus in the uh, numerator term and we write here our numerator term as this is m. Here we use the nice uh, square root uh, rule. Uh, you know about that if we have square root of a multiplied by square root of a so we write it as a only okay because when uh, we uh, multiply these two terms then its square root are gone uh, so it means that uh, we write any number into these square roots form so according to this we write our m as uh, square root of m is multiplied by square root of m and it is divided by square root of m is equals to 5. So here further we need more simplifications and you see here this square root of m and this square root of m are gone and we will get here a square root of m is equals to 5. And because we solve this problem for the values of m, for this we need to take uh, squaring on both of the sides. So in order to take the squaring, it will be written as square root of m and its whole square is equals to 5 whole square. So we just apply squares on both of the sides. And now you see here this 2 and this square root are gone and we will get here our m is equals to here we have a 5 square is equals to 25. So this is the final value of m in this question uh, and now here uh, we need to verify this value of m and we check that uh, is this value of m is satisfied our given question statement or not. So uh, for verification of the values, uh, first we need to copy down our given question statement here. It is m divided by square root of m is equals to 5. And here we check that is m is equals to 25 is satisfied over uh, this question statement or not. So for this, uh, we substitute this value of m in the left hand side of the above equation after substituting this value it will be written as 25 divided by this is square root of 25 is equals to 5 or not this is the our claim and now you see here we have this is 25 divided by here we know that square root of 25 is equals to 5 only and here we check that is this equals to 5 or not and here we need to cancel these terms and we have this is 5 times of 5 becomes 25 and clearly you see that our n over 5 is equals to 5 so this shows that the value of m is equals to 25 is satisfied over this given question statement so m equals to 25 be the only one solution of the given equation and in the next step we uh, uh, we will just again solve this problem for second method uh, and now here in second method first uh, we need to copy down given question statement here so the given question statement is m divided by square root of m is equals to 5 uh, so this is our given question statement and now here in the second uh, method we uh, use an other nice technique. Uh, so here uh, we move this square root of m in the right hand side. This is divided by here when we move in the right hand side it is multiplied by 5. So after moving this value to the right hand side it will be written as 5 times of square root of m. 
and uh, here uh, we need to take uh, the squaring on both of the sides in order to remove this square root sign so that we take uh, squaring on both of the sides and you see here we have this this will becomes m squared is equals to here we apply this square separately on both of these values and we will get here this uh, 5 square is equals to 25 and uh, here we have this is the square root of m and its whole square uh, so this 2 and this square root are gone and we will get here m only and further in the next step we move uh, these terms in the left hand side and it will be written as m square and this will become here minus 25 times of m is equals to 0. So in the next step you see here both of these terms involve m so that we will take common m from here and after taking common m we will get m minus 25 is equals to 0. So we break this equation into the two cases. The first case is we write m is equals to 0 and the second case is we write m minus 25 is equals to 0. So this is the first root of the given equation and from here we easily get the value of m is equals to 25. This is the second root of the given equation. So these are the two roots of the given equation which we get here from second method. But here in the first method we verify the root m is equals to 25. So this root is satisfied our given question statement. But here we need to verify the root m is equals to 0. So for verification of this root we need to copy down given question statement here it is m divided by square root of m is equals to 5. So here when we put uh, m equals to 0 here then uh, you see you see that this will becomes 0 over 0 form because m is 0 and square root of m is also 0 and you see here this will become here 0 over 0 form or in other words we call uh, this form is the indeterminate form okay so we will just write it here it is the uh, indeterminate form okay so uh, the indeterminate form is uh, also known as the uh, undefined form okay in other words we just say that it is the undefined form so if when we choose m0 so our left hand side will becomes undefined so it means that it cannot be equals to 5 so this means that uh, m equals to 0 is not the root of the given equation so m equals to 0 is the uh, extraneous root of the given equation okay so this is the uh, m equals to 0 is the extraneous root and this is the, our final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos